Hello guys! You want to make a submarine window with me? Yes? Come on! Okay guys, to do this submarine window you will need some cardboard then I had this plastic, very important to have a very little piece of plastic bread crumbs, okay? Can you see it? Bread crumbs to do croquetas, those things a stapler some silo tape markers and um, paintings, okay? or aquarels or whatever you have let's go! first thing that we will need it's a base, okay? something to make a circle and a little bit thick, okay? but if you don't have it, you can do it in a paper so, look I will start with this, okay? What are we going to do? Very easy. We are going to take all these things apart, the bread crumbs, the glue and that. And we are going to make a circle, okay? I'm going to sew it to you know. Mine will be a little circle because I don't have a very big card box, okay? So look. Okay, something like this. And now we're going to cut it, okay? Okay, so I have my circle here. And once we have the circle, now we will need, very important, okay? The breadcrumbs, okay? And the glue. And what are we going to do? Look, I will take a little bit of glue and I will make a line, okay? To make the sand. Look. I will show it to you right now. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, so look, guys. I've made a line full of glue and now I have to spread the breadcrumbs here, okay? Don't forget to wash your hands before doing this. So, I spread my breadcrumbs here and now we let it dry. Guys, so when we have it dried, okay, I will let you, I will show you mine. We are going to paint the rest of the cardboard blue, okay? because we are in the ocean. So, let's go. You can take markers, painting, aquarels, whatever you have at home, okay? Let's go. Okay, so guys, when you finish painting, you will have something like this, okay? So now, I have to let it dry. Okay, guys, now with the pieces that I had from the cardboard, I'm going to make two fishes, okay? two little fishes and in another piece I'm going to make a fish a little bit bigger okay I'm going to show it to you now can you see them and this one will be the big fish okay and now we cut them Okay, so guys, I have my fish ready and I'm going to color them with markers, okay? You can take the color you want. Okay, so guys, this will be my fish, okay? The big one, sorry, like this, the big one, and the two little ones, okay? Now, with the pieces that I have here left, I'm going to make some seed plants, okay? Green ones. And now I'm going to cut them. And two. Okay, so I think that my drawing is right. Can you see it? And now, with the glue, we are going to paste our beautiful drawings in here. So, I will start with the plant, okay? I'm going to put the glue in the other side. 
a little bit only. And I'm going to paste it in the sand, okay? I have one there and the other one here. Okay, can you see them guys? Very good. Now I'm going to do the same with the fish. I'm going to put um, one here and the other two here, okay? So, come on, let's paste them. Okay, look guys. Look, this is my drawing. So now, what do we have to do? Okay. Look, do you remember the plastic that we have here? So we have to take a piece and put it on the drawing, okay? It has to be bigger but than the drawing because it has to be protected by the plastic, okay? So we are going to cut the measure that we need, for example, in this case, something like this. So, okay, for example, I need this piece of plastic and I'm going to put it on my drawing, okay? And with glue or with silo, whatever you have at home, you stick it, okay? It's very I have this one at home, but you can take another one smaller, okay? It doesn't have to be this one. Okay, so look guys, can you see that now our beautiful drawing is protected by a plastic? Okay, excellent. Here yeah, so many things. So now, what do we have to do? Okay. Now we have to take our drawing, and in a card box, uh, sorry, in a card box we have to make a bigger circle. Okay. For example, I like my drawing. So I'm going to take the marker, and I'm going to create my bigger circle. Okay, and now we cut it. Okay, so I have my circle here. What happens? If I put my circle here, we cannot see the drawing. So we have to make a smaller circle. Okay, I will show it to you now. And we have to cut it, okay? I will show you one thing. I will show you a little thing that I learn when I was little. To cut something that you have in the middle, you fold it and you make like this. Cut on. Now you open it and you enter the scissors and now you can cut it. Okay. So now you measure it and you have to be sure that it's going to be like a submarine window. So mine is not very good and I'm going to Put it a little bit better, okay? Okay, so look guys, now I'm going to color it. You can color it the color you want. So I'm going okay, so guys, when you finish, you will have something like this. And now we let it dry. So guys, look, my circle is dried. And now I will take the other drawing and I'm going to uh, staple it, okay? If you don't want to staple it, okay, you can take glue and paste it or silo tape or whatever. I'm going to do this because it's a little bit easier for me because my sand was very thick. So I will take the measure that I want for my circle here. I think that this one. And I'm going to put some staples here. Okay, can you see it? And now I'm going to paint the staples inside the staples a hole like in submarines okay and I will take the black to do that hey guys can you see the little circles and I'm going to do all around the submarine more circles So look guys, 
This is my beautiful submarine. Come with me to see it better. Look guys, the sand with the plants and the fish in the submarine. So it looks like a real submarine window, right? Now you can do it yours. Bye-bye.